Oh, time. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of It's Howling Time with the Howling Wolf. Here, going to give you selections for January 29th, 2020. The track that I'm going to do is going to be Gulfstream Park. It is going to be race number 10 for Maiden claiming $32,000 going a mile distance on the turf. We got a field of, of 7 running. Oh, excuse me. That's 7. Of 11 running. We got your Morning Line favorite, which is going to be the number 4. Beyond the call at Morning Line Odds at 7 to 2. I'm going to give you my two top selections plus my horse to watch. My top selection is going to be the number 6, Magna Ride. Magna Ride at Morning Line Odds is at 10 to 1. Is by Candy Ride out of a Magna Graduate Mare. Last time Ryan on December 8th. At Woodbine, going a mile and 70 yards on the all-terrain surface. Came in fifth by six and a half lengths. Was stalking but failed to make a move. The time before that and the only time was the November 10th of 2019 at Woodbine, going seven furlongs for a maiden special weight, $71,000. I was able to get 11th by 17 and a half yards. Tried to hurry early, but tired out as soon as fast as could. Had no chance at all. The workouts have been on January 4th at Goldstream Park going four furlongs on a fast track dated in 52.44 seconds breezing. Was the 82nd 80 80 best out of the 89 workouts that day. Then the time after that was on January 10th at Goldstream Park. Going four furlongs on a fast track. It was 49.91 seconds breezing. Was the 26th best out of the 37 workouts that day. Then for the last workout it was on January 9th at Goldstream Park. Going in on a fast track. Going five furlongs, did in one minute point zero one seconds point seven five. Breezing was the eleventh best out of the twenty five workouts that day. Well, I see with this one to be my top pick. It's dropping the class to it to claiming for maiden special weight. Should have the ability to um, come on late, especially on the turf. Should it ran. Pretty well. Didn't like the all-terrain surface, so maybe the turf would be its best. Should like it with the pedigree-wise on the top side with the candy ride. He should ride very well on top of that grass. Just needs to get up closer to be in the stocking or mid-pack to make that move late at the end and not try to hurry to run. Just let it relax and then run it right towards the second turn to make it into the stretch to make a great chance at a win. So again, for my top selection at Goldstream Park, race number 10, it is the number 6 Magna Ride at Morning Line Odds at 10 to 1. Now for my second choice, it is going to be the number 9, Bling Seeker. The morning line odds is at 8 to 1. It's by Seek Again out of a Texas Glitter Mare. Last time ran was on January 9th at Goldstream Park on a firm turf going a mile distance for a maiden claiming $32,000. Came in third by three and three quarters length. Was pressured, had to go wide, but weakened into the stretch. Time before that, it ran on December 19th of 2019 at Goldstream Park on a good turf. 
for ma maiden claiming $40,000, came in fifth by four and a quarter lengths, was, went off slow, then tried to hurry a bit, and couldn't make any chance at a run to come up that fifth. The time before that, it ran on November 15th at Goshen Park West on a fast dirt going five and a half furlongs for maiden claiming $35,000, came in six by 17 lengths, was off slow but had to go wide, lost any chance then. The workouts have been on December 19th. On December 4th, excuse me, of 2019, at Goshen Park West, going five furlongs on a fast track, did it in 1 minute, 0 .03.80 0 seconds, breezing gallop, was the second best out of the five workouts that day. Then the last workout was on January 5th at Goshen Park West going four furlongs on a fast track did it in 50.20 seconds breezing was the 12th best out of the 15 workouts that day. With this one what I see it has the ability to come in well it just needs to be not stalking because that's what I tried last time just didn't have a chance to do it and got a lot of pressure just to relax Relax him so he could get into the ability to run very well. Just trying that mile was kind of tiring, but now that I had that experience, maybe get with the workouts, the endurance should come in very well late for him to make that run into that second turn to the stretch to hopefully not get into any traffic trouble, which if he gets in a good nice clear trip you see this one coming in strong and late so again for my second choice at Goldstream Park on race number 10 it is the number 9 bling seeker at Morning Line Odds at 8 to 1 Now time for my horse to watch. My horse to watch is the number five. Let's play hardball at Morning Line Odds at eight to one is by Constitution out of a exchange rate mare. Last time ran at Goldstream Park on January 9th on the firm turf going a mile distance for mating claiming thirty two thousand dollars. Was able to get fifth by five and a quarter length. Had to go three to four wide into that turn and made it even kind of not a rushable pace to get up to an effort to get into that fifth place running. The time before that it ran on November 8th at Laurel on a fast track going five and a half furlongs for made and claiming $25,000. Went six by 12 and a half lengths. It then went wide into the turn and was no factor. Time before that, it ran in October, October 14th, going on the fast track at Laurel, going five and a half furlongs for wavering, wavering, made and claiming forty thousand dollars. Was able to get six by six by nine lengths. Just gave way, had no chance at all. The workouts have been on December 31st at Goshen Park going four furlongs on a fast track. Did in 48.60 seconds breezing was the fifth best out of the 55 workouts that day. Then for the last workout was on January 25th at Goshen Park going four furlongs on a fast track did it in 51.04 seconds breezing was the 83rd best out of the 103 workouts that day. For my opinion I see what this one could be the horse to watch or even log slash log shot. It's running the same level it did before and Nick Wars is staying aboard which is a good plus 
knew what happened last time. Maybe try to not go too wide out, but stay, try to get inside and stay back a bit to make that late kicking run that he knows that could win. Has some great fractions running at the mile distance last time. And one of the best out of the whole field, that's what I see with that. Most of these horses that ran shorter distances or even a couple of them running a little longer. But the ones that are giving a lot of shots at the ones that ran at least the shorter distances and has the good riders on here. But I don't see it. Maybe it would need a race for me, in my opinion, to see how they run going the mile distance. But even with, like, the number eight that has a rat or tease. You'll see him coming out strong and late uh, from a maiden special weight, 27,000. But um, I believe with this eight, with the five horse set, if it runs the pace, it runs it well, should come on strong and late, should come up good, at a good placing or even at a win. So again, for my horse to watch in race number 10 at Goldstream Park, it is the number five. Let's play a hardball at morning line odds at eight to one. <laughs> to recap my selection for race number ten at Gulfstream Park, it is the, my top selection is the number six Magna Ride at morning line odds at ten to one. My second choice is the number nine, Bling Seeker at Morning Line Odds at eight to one. And for my horse to watch is the number five, Let's Play Hardball. And remember, when you're cashing with the wolf, it's howling time. And listen, look out for my selections on my Facebook page at Howling Wolf Sports and more. Also, you could find it on my Twitter, in which my handle is Howler92. So if you like to listen up, and, and please subscribe to my my podcast so you can hear out from when I do more selections. And remember, when you're cashing with this wolf, let's cash in those tickets. Hope everyone has a great day at handicapping and make some money. Hope to hear from, see you guys and listen to my podcast again. Good luck.